All right, guys, today I want to do a video kind of talking about my survival lessons slash EDC, like how my survival kind of background and wilderness bushcrafting background bleeds into my EDC. Now, for some people who are newer to the channel, they may not know that, you know, previously on the channel, I did a lot of wilderness survival and bushcraft videos talking about a whole bunch of different things, primarily, you know, tools and equipment and gear kit to use in the wilderness. Um, and I still do enjoy that, even though I am a little bit more into EDC and at least making EDC videos. But there is undeniably a lot of um, experience and a lot of kind of just background for me in survival and wilderness. And a lot of it bleeds into my everyday carry. So today I wanted to break down some of kind of like how that impacts my EDC by going over a few of the tools. So first off, for me, I think one of the things that a lot of people um, oftentimes criticize me when I do like my pocket checks, EDC updates, is redundancy. And this is a really big thing when it comes to survival. And what it means is essentially not so much that um, you have two items that are exactly the same. So like say having two knives, for instance, but you have two tools that can do a lot of similar tasks. So one of the really common ones for this is that I have a multi-tool and a knife. And so I have a dedicated knife and a multi-tool and a lot of people end up saying, well, you know, the, the multi-tool has a knife on it, right? So why do you have two knives? And once again, that kind of comes down to redundancy. These two are different tools, but the multi-tool can do a lot of the tasks that a knife can and the knife can do a lot of tasks that the multi-tool can and granted i do understand this has pliers this doesn't so the, these are two distinctly different tools but i view it a lot like how one could have a saw a hatchet and a knife right a lot of those tools do the same thing you can split wood with a knife you can split wood with a hatchet you can you know you can cut wood up with a knife a hatchet you can process wood with a knife, a hatchet, or a saw, right? They have a lot of redundant features to them, and they can all do a lot of similar tasks, but they are, at the core, different tools. And so that's kind of one of the points is redundancy. I have two tools that are similar, but yet different in their own ways. And if one were to fail, get lost, disappear, for whatever reason, be rendered unusable, um, I have the other. And so redundancy is one thing that I don't necessarily factor into every aspect. You know, it's not like I have multiple keys, multiple lighters, multiple, you know, of the same tools, but I try to, when I can, add tools that do have some degree of crossover. The next one I think, and this is kind of just a general reason why I like everyday carry so much, is in survival or when we practice and train for survival it is at the core preparedness of course i've never luckily found myself in a sheer out and out survival situation but i've trained in a lot of you know um, set up survival situations where i purposely set myself up to be reliant on certain tools in certain situations and so Preparedness is very similar for everyday carry. And of course, your level of preparedness varies for what task and what purpose you're doing. And once again, I have things like my truck survival kit. So if I'm driving around, I have a far more robust survival system. But being prepared in basic things, basic forms like having a flashlight so that you can see in the dark, having a lighter in case you need to start a fire, having a pen if you need to write something down or leave a note, um, having a you know pry bar here in case you need to either open up um, drinks or if you need to use this as a wedge or a, a pry piece for some reason, you know, um, being generally prepared for a wide variety of different tasks. And I think a lot of people, you know, kind of fall into EDC for that reason. They enjoy being prepared and having the right tools for different situations. And I'm definitely into that mindset. And part of that preparedness, I think, kind of factors into this next point of preparedness and survival training. And that is so practicality is probably one of the biggest things that does bleed over as well. And this is where I think I differ, tend to differ a lot from most EDC or other EDC 
YouTubers um, or knife tubers, and that is that a lot of the tools or knives that you see on this channel are, I think, I like to think pretty tasteful. You know, the Tanto tip or Tanto tip on this blade might not be the most, um, you know, sheerly practical thing, but a lot of my knives and gear as a whole are very, very practical. They're not very aesthetic, like you'll notice with all of these, you know, there's no wild colors or cute, you know, donut themed, uh, you know, sprinkles on them. There's just, they're all very basic and very plain, but very functional. I mean, of course you do have the blacked out um, blades and stuff like that, but by and large, you know, like this is just titanium gray. This is just literally satin steel. Um, this is just bare titanium. And same with even this guy, you know, there's no fancy, you know, Damascus steels on these guys. It's just a very plain, you know, stone wash finish. And that's really ultimately the way that I like my gear. I like it to be practical. And part of that reason is one, that's just kind of how my training is, how my mindset is, but two, all of these things, like everything I have as far as EDC goes, realistically does see carry, does see use. And as I mentioned in other videos, you know, some gear does see more use than others, but all of this gear sees use. I carry all of it. And if I can't, then I don't really own it. And so that's why, um, you know, you'll see a lot of other knives out there that are full dress, so to speak. And that just means that they're highly customized, you know, usually Damascus steel blades um, or Timascus clips, Timascus handles and stuff like that. And you can certainly get that. And a lot of it's cool. I admire it. And maybe I'll get some of it in the future. But for sure, like for me, uh, most of the knives, most of the gear uh, I own, like I said, even as just tools uh, like lighters and such are all very minimalist, very utilitarian at the core. And uh, I do appreciate having nice gear and none of this gear here that you see is particularly cheap outside of maybe the Zippo. Um, you know, all of it is dedicated EDC kind of Gucci gear. It's just all more oriented towards practical use. I'd say probably the least practical knife that I own would probably be my full-sized Hinder XM18 that does have purple scales on it. So that's probably the most colorful thing I have, but realistically, you know, um, I might have some, you know, avocado colored blades like this or some others that have green G10 handles, but still very useful and very like utilitarian at the core. And so I think practicality honestly plays a very large role in my EDC gear choices. Anyways, guys, that is essentially rant over. That is how survival has affected my EDC and how it has bled into it and kind of gives me a unique perspective on everyday carry. And I noticed, like I said, a lot of my fellow EDC friends tend to lean towards, once again, like donut sprinkled knives and stuff like that that's uh, a little bit more whimsical. And that's cool, you know, it's not necessarily my taste and I don't personally love that style, but that is because, once again, I come from a survival background where everything is very utilitarian and, you know, you have these knives not for them to look cute in photos or on Instagram, but for them to be usable tools. <coughs> Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.